Iavaji, Wikipedia article audio. Iavaji, Path of the Master is an universalizing henotheistic belief that originated in South India. It is cited as an independent monistic religion by several newspapers, government reports, journals, and academic researchers. In Indian censuses, however, the majority of its followers declare themselves as Hindus. Therefore, Iavaji is also considered a Hindu denomination. Iavaji is centered on the life and preachings of Ayavakandar. Its ideas and philosophy are based on the holy texts Akila Thiratu Amani and Aril Noal. Accordingly, Vakandar was the Purna avatar of Narayana. Ayavaji shares many ideas with Hinduism in its beliefs and practice, but differs considerably in its concepts of good and evil and dharma. Ayavaji is classified as a dharmic belief because of its central focus on dharma. Etymology and History Scriptures and Holy Places Ayavaji first came to public attention in the 19th century as a Hindu sect. Vaikandar's activities and the growing number of followers caused a reformation and revolution in 19th century Travancorean and Tamil society, surprising the feudal social system of South India. It also triggered a number of reform movements including those of Narayana Guru and Ramalinga Swamigal etc. Though Ayavaji followers are spread across India, they are primarily present in South India, especially concentrated in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. The number of practitioners is estimated to be between 8 million and 10 million although the exact number is unknown since Ayavajis are reported as Hindus during censuses. Aya in Tamil means master and Vaji, way, the simple translation is master's way or father's way due to the diverse synonymous versions for the phrase in Tamil, it also leads to various other theories. Ayavaji began to be noticed initially by the large number of people gathering to worship Vakandar at Puvandanthap. The Thuvial Thavasu of 1840 is the origin of Ayavaji as an alternative religio-cultural phenomena. The majority of its participants were from marginal east and poor sections of society. They began to function as a distinct and autonomous society, and gradually, they identified their path with the phrase Ayavaji. Although the majority of these followers were from the Nada caste, a large number of people from other castes also follow it. Ayavaji's rapid growth throughout its first century of existence was noted by Christian missionary reports from the mid-19th century. By the middle of 19th century, Ayavaji had come to be a recognizable religious phenomenon with deep roots in the regions of South Travancore and South Tirunelveli. The numbers of faithful increased significantly from the 1840s. By the close of the 19th century, Swami Thope was considered the religio-cultural AP center of Ayavaji. After the time of Vakandar, Ayavaji was spread through his teachings. The five seeders, disciples of Vakandar and their descendants, traveled to several parts of the country bearing the mission of Ayavaji. Meanwhile, the Payan dynasty started administrating the Swamitha Pathi, while other Pathis came under the administration of the followers of Aya. Following the instructions of Akila Tiratu Amani, the Nizalthan Gals have been established across the country for worship and the study of scripture. Symbolism Aril Noal the first Ayavaji work in print was released in 1927, followed by the Akilam in 1933, almost a century after it had been written down. As a result, Ayavaji abandoned active oral traditions in favor of literary scriptures. 
Iavashi headquarter reports that Iavashi spread more rapidly after Indian independence and still more rapidly through the 1990s. Many Iavashi-based social welfare organizations were established in the late 20th century. Several alternative versions of Akilam, including some controversial versions, were released during the same period. The Anbukadi Makal Thirukabai, a democratic bureau, was established by the religious headquarters in the early 1990s to organize and govern the religion. Organizational conferences are held in various cities in South India including Mumbai, China, and Thiruvananthapuram. Considering the growth of Iyavaji, Iyavakanda Avataram, the day of Vakandar's incarnation, was declared a holiday by the state administration for the district of Kanyakumari in 1994, followed by the districts of Tirunelveli and Tudi Koran in 2006. From 2012 CE Vakanda Avataram was declared a restricted holiday for the entire Tamil Nadu state. And for the Kerala state from 2015. Currently, Bala Prajapathi Adakalar, heir to the Payan dynasty, is considered the leader of Iyavaji. Teachings and Impact The holy books of Iyavaji are the Akila Tiratu Ammanai and the Aril Noal, and they are the source of the religion's mythology. The Akila Tiratu Ammanai was written by Hari Gopalan Cedar in 1841 as if hearing the contents of a kilam told by Narayana to his consort Lakshmi. In addition to the mythological events a kilam also provides an extensive quantity of historical facts, especially that of mid and late second millennium CE. While the original text is damaged, the daughter versions such as the Swami Thope version, the Katanjatu version as well as the Panchalan Kuraki versions, are the earliest existing palm leaf versions of Akilam. Other released versions include the Centrathise Ventrapirumal, the Vivkanandan, the highly criticized VTV, and the earliest and commonly accepted Palarama Chandran version. Akilam contains more than 15,000 verses in 17 sections. It is written in poetic Tamil in a ballad form and is composed with a unique literal style with two sub-genres, Viratam and Natai throughout. The secondary scripture, Aril Noal, includes various books that are believed to be written by Aril Alarkal. It contains prayers, hymns, and instructions for the way of worship in Iyavaji, as well as rituals prophesy and many acts. It also contains many events found in the Akilam pertaining to the life of Vakandar. Unlike Akilam, there is no definitive history for a real know all. All these texts are compiled in Tamil language. To the Iyavaji devotees, there are seven holy places, called Pathis, with the Panchapathis being the most important. The temple of the Swami Thope Pathi is the headquarters of the Iyavaji. Worship Centers The five Panchapathi are, one the Swami Thope Pathi, the venue of the Great Tavam and the religion's headquarters. Two. Ambala Pathi, where Vakandar joined six of the seven deities unto himself. Three. Mutta Pathi the venue of the second and third Vinchayas. 4. Tamaraikulam Pathi, where the Akila Tiratu Ammanai was written down. 5. Poo Pathi, where I unified the earth goddess Pumadanthai to himself by symbolic marriage. Ethics Vakai Pathi, though not included in the Panchapathis by the headquarters, is still considered as a pathet but with lesser importance. There is disagreement among followers of Iyavaji regarding the holiness of some other pathis, such as Vakanda Pathi and Avathara Pathi. 
The list of pathies announced by the headquarters of Iavashi does not include these pathies. Religious Studies The symbol of Iavashi is a lotus carrying a flame-shaped white namum. The lotus represents the 1,008-petaled Sahasrara, while the namum represents the Anmajyothi or Atman. Both of the Iavashi scriptures refer to Thirunamam but not to the lotus directly. The symbol is the ideological summary of a Kilam-based philosophy. This symbol has been in use since the mid-20th century. The mythical narration in a Kilam about the eight yugas is often viewed philosophically as a reference to eight chakras. The first, Nidiyayukam, is Bindu and the final state, Dharmayukam, is Sahasrara or absolute bliss. In this series, the energy of consciousness of oneself is invoked, rising from Bindu to the final Sahasrara. This lotus, the highest spiritual center of enlightenment, is for experiencing the absolute bliss. The reigning power in the final Dharmayukam is Akam, which is a part of Vakandara Trinity conception, or a manifestation of the Supreme Absolute. Thus Iavashi's symbol is derived from Akilam. The symbol Lotus with Thirunamam shows Vakandar's experienced in Sahasrara. Theology In certain Hindu texts, the Sahasrara chakra has 1,000 petals. But in Iavashi symbolism, Sahasrara has 1,008 petals. In Iavashi, there is no scriptural authority indicating the importance of 1000, but the number 1008 is commonly mentioned. Also, the incarnation year of Vakandar is 1008 me. Backing these scriptural identities, the 1008 petal lotus is followed in Iavashi symbolism. Sahasrara is symbolized as a lotus without a stem. Iavashi architecture was developed in constructing Nizaldan Gals, where the inverted lotus flower of Sahasrara is used to cover the roof. The lotus may also represent the heart and the flame shape, the divinity. Iavashi has used other symbols including Vaishnavite triple namam, and conch. The majority of Iavashi's key teachings can be found in the book Akilatira to Amani and other teachings are collated from various books written by unknown authors, whose works feature in the Aril Noal. Like Dharma, the other teachings of Iavashi are twofold, sociological and mystical. The mystical teachings are devoted to revealing divine knowledge while social teachings are primarily concerned with eliminating inequality and discrimination in society. The teachings encourage a positive relationship with God, as opposed to one based on fear. Followers are encouraged to refer to God as Aya, Dear Father, to strengthen their intimacy and affection towards God. Iavashi mystics focus on supreme oneness. Among its variations, the theology always maintains this focus on oneness. The evil of Kali blocks the ultimate or supreme oneness prevailing between individual souls and the universe, creating among them a false sense of individuality and of extreme pride. This erroneous view causes the apparent sense of separation from the oneness and motivates against it. Akam the Oversoul or the Supreme Soul is identified as the whole of existence, changeless in nature and ubiquity. This is one which undergoes different changes with respect to space and time because of the evil force Maya. All of creation evolved from this Akam, the Supreme Consciousness. All the qualities of Akam are within each soul, and evolve from it. Each and every individual soul is a reflection or mirror of the Absolute Supreme, Akam, which provides the textual basis and metaphor for the mirror's role in Iavashi worship. 
human and all other souls are restricted and limited by the evil of Kali. This is why individual souls are not able to attain supreme bliss, and so are secondary to Akam. Once a soul overcomes the influence of Maya, it becomes one with Akam. Its individuality is gone, and thereby it is Akam. On the other hand, this Supreme Consciousness is personified as Paramatma by which, God is the husband, while all other souls are his consorts, symbolized by Thirukali and Akana, where Vakandar marries the individual souls. Also, the Iyavaji philosophy applies a common formula for the creation of human beings and the rest of the universe. Thus whatever exists externally to human beings exists also internally. Festivals and Rituals Iyavaji clearly and explicitly condemns the caste-based inequalities in its social teachings. It heavily criticizes the caste discrimination rather than the caste system itself. From its inception, Iyavaji has also served as an engine of social reform particularly in the area of Travancore, which was previously noted for its unusually strong caste system. In this contest, the mingling of castes in Iyavaji centers was a vital element in the transformation of society. Inclusiveness and Exclusivity Iyavakandar was the first to succeed as a social reformer in launching political struggle, social renaissance as well as religious reformation in the country. Vakandar was the pioneer of the social revolutionaries of Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Research scholars regard Vakandar as a teacher, healer, and also a miracle worker. He was also said to be the forerunner of all social reformers of India. Akilam displayed sympathy for the laboring classes, and opposed to the often excessive taxes they were forced to pay. From the beginning the followers, fortified by the teachings, have also taken a strong stand against political oppression. This is most clearly seen in Akilam, where the Thiruvath Kanar king is identified as Kalanesan, and the British are identified as Venesan in the social sense. Iyavaji was in the forefront of movements for human rights and social equality. Iyavaji also effected many social changes in southern India, resulting in the emergence of a series of social and self-respect movements such as upper cloth agitation, temple entry agitation and other movements including those of Narayana Guru, Shatam P. Swamikal, Valalar and Iyankalai. The followers of Iyavaji established Pathis and Nizalthan Gals, which are centers of worship and religious learning in various parts of the country. They serve as centers for propagation of the beliefs and practices of Iyavaji. There are thousands of Nizalthan Gals throughout India, mostly in South India. There are more than 7,000 worship centers in South India mainly in Tamil Nadu and Kerala. Reports from the London Missionary Society of the mid-19th century also speak of Nizalthan Gals. Since Iyavaji is not centrally organized, Swami Thope Patha serves as the religious headquarters for all. The Pathias earn more importance among the worship centers. The seven Pathias obtain their significance from the fact that Vakandar and his activities were historically associated with these centers of worship. The Swami Thope Pathi, though considered the religion's headquarters, does not officially control the rest of the religious centers. All Pathis, except itself, are managed by independent committees. The five Pathis known as Panchapathi are considered foremost among Pathis. Nizalthan Gals, compared with Pathis, are simple small structures built for worship and for learning the teachings of Vakandar. They also served as centers of school education during the early days. Food and shelter are offered to the needy in these centers. 
Some of them were established when Vakandar was alive. Among them Arul Noal, specifies seven then gals, and these are considered primary over the others. Today, charity is one of the main activities conducted in these centers. These centers emerged as the abode of Dharma. The Nizalthan Gals form an important institution in the socio-religious life of the people of Ayavaji. Panavai Day may be conducted up to three times daily, but all worship centers provide Panavai Day at least once daily. Mythology Santra and Dharma Yukam Relation with Hinduism Phenomenology the ethics of Ayavaji, integrated with the metanarrative mythology, are found throughout the primary scripture, Akilatiratu Amani. Regarding ethics, Arul Noal is an accumulation of the core concepts found in Akilam. In Akilam, the ethical abstracts are pointed out as told by God at several places at different situations to lesser godheads, devas, saints, etc. whenever asked by them. Nitham is the primary virtue of Ayavaji. This shows how society, its people, the ruling king, etc., lived in absolute harmony with nature, placing the power of Almighty in all their works, deeds and activities during early ages. In return, nature and the divine beings protect the society which follows the Nitham. Chastity and life and ultimate union with nature form the central theme, an ethical form that is to be followed. As in Akilam, Vinchai is the rules and regulations provided by God to Vakandar. There are three such Vinchayas. Acts found there also fit to humans to improve their moral code. The first Vinchai of Tirachender forms the largest ethical accumulation found in Akilam. To an extent, the dharmic teachings in Ayavaji are also considered as ethics. Charity in social ethics and attempting to realize the ultimate truth of oneness in spirituality are the ethical codes under the banner of Ayavaji Dharma. Akilam also gives separate ethics for Devas also. It is notable that the Ayavaji ethics undergo a vast deviation from the incarnation of Vakandar since a universal change took place then. Overall, as the foremost ethical code, people are advocated to overcome the evil force Kalamayai with the weapons of love, forbearance, and peace, since Kalyan as Maya rules the minds of people. Arul Noal constitutes the major role in forming the rules and regulations of Ayavaji, including ethics. It gives separately the social as well as divine ethics. The Sivakanda Athakara Patharam here is the section especially dedicated to teach the ethics. The rituals, especially circumambulations, are to be followed to wash out the sin committed related to immoral thinking. It is difficult to give a clear-cut listing to Ayavaji concepts because of the relation the Ayavaji scriptures maintains with the Hindu scriptures. Akilam primarily says the central themes of the existing scriptures had gone awry by the advent of Vakandar. It also narrates that Akilam was given to mankind as an alternative because Kalyan destroyed the original Vedas and Shastras, and at the beginning of Kali Yuga, Several additions were given to the previous scriptures by him. Both of these viewpoints give the views of Akilam on Hindu scriptures, and place them as reasons for rejecting them. The philosophy, terms, and mythology of the Ayavaji scriptures are the basis of religious study on Ayavaji theology. But several terms quoted in Akilam couldn't be understood wholly unless by referring to the descriptive details of those terms in Hindu scriptures. For example, if the 96 tattvas are understood, then the Kalyan is understood. Therefore, 
theologians and philosophers today turn to Hindu scriptures to further their understanding of the tattvas as properties of the human body, which are not elaborated upon in Akilam. However, to understand Akilam and its philosophy, one should have a basic knowledge over the Hindu ideas and concepts. Since Akilam have no different view in this matter from Hindu scriptures, it was left to be gathered from there. On mythical studies, Akilam covers almost the entire main mythology of Hinduism, including Mahabharata, Ramayana, Kantha Purana, and Vishnu Purana, but with limited details. It includes only the main events that are directly linked to the mainstream story flow. But to undergo a detailed study on each, the appropriate Hindu scriptures that include those events in detail need to be referred. Akilam provides all these collectively in brief with an overall storyline, which make it unique. Many philosophical concepts from Hinduism are found in Akilam, some of them are completely accepted, some are regenerated, while others are rejected. Social structure Generally it was considered that once a particular concept is not found well described in Ayavaji scriptures, such as Akila Tiratu Amani or Aril Noal, and instead simply was quoted, then that particular conception is accepted as in Hindu scriptures for religious studies. But once Akilam has different views over something from that of the existing scriptures, then it would be found deeply described in Akilam itself and hence no need for referring other scriptures. The theology of Ayavaji differs considerably from other monistic religions. It speaks of Akam, the oneness from which all that exists formed, and also an ultimate oneness that exists behind all differences. The Akam, which is articulated as the supreme divine power itself, is supposed to remain unaffected by Maya deep inside every changeable matter as an absolute constant. In theological terms, God is, in the highest sense, formless, infinite, genderless and beyond time and space. The term Ikam in Tamil language gives simply the meanings, 1, absolute, the whole which exists and the incomparable, all give some sort of direct monistic definition about God from Ayavaji theology. Narrating through mythology, the Sivam and the Sakthi are the first to get evolved from Akam. The Natham, Trimurthi, other lesser gods and the entire universe further evolved. The Trimurthi are greater among the personified Devas. Siva, one among the Trimurthi, was the supreme power until Kali Yuga. Vishnu is the supreme from the advent of Kali Yuga. Then, from the incarnation of Vaikandar, again the powers of all godheads, including that of Vishnu, is transformed to Vaikandar. Ikam, the supreme oneness as one among the trinity takes a place within Vaikandar for the present age. Therefore, Vaikandar is said to be the only worshipable and supreme power. However, a quote from Akilam 13 says this supreme oneness itself is created by Vaikandar, who is a personified god. In this regard, Ayavaji being centered on Vaikandar, is more monotheistic rather than monistic. No other godheads, even the father of Vaikandar, Narayana, have gained an equal or greater status than Vaikandar. Vaikandar is a turbine power who includes the qualities of the Santra, Narayana, and Akam within himself. Notes and References Bibliography In Ayavaji mythology, Krani, a primordial evil manifestation, was fragmented into six and each fragment took birth and plays an anti-Vishnu role throughout the successive six yugas. He was finally destroyed by a final judgment which is followed by the god-ruled Dharmayukam. 
This narration gives some dualistic dimension to Ayavaji theology. But since the focus of Arul Noal, the accumulation of Ayavaji teachings is extremely monistic and since the final fragment of Krani itself is called Kalamayai, it was commonly accepted that the Maya is symbolized in such a way that contrasts the dualistic view on Ayavaji. Apart from all these, there are also separate quotes in Ayavaji scriptures which give pantheistic and panentheistic definition to Ayavaji theology. There are two yearly festivals for Ayavaji. The Ayavakanda Avataram is celebrated on the 20th day of the Tamil month Macy. This is the only Ayavaji festival to be celebrated as per the solar calendar. The mass procession conducted on this day from Nagar Coil to Swamithap is a popular one in this part of the country. The Thiru Edu Vazipu is a festival of 17 days celebrated in the Tamil month of Karthagai. This celebration of textual reciting as a festival itself is a unique feature to Ayavaji. Apart from this, there is a tri-yearly celebration of Kodi Yetru Thirunal in Swami Thope. Another unique feature is the celebration of every day as a festival in Swami Thope, called as Nitham Thirunal. In addition to the philosophical concepts and mythology, the rituals of Ayavaji evolved in their own way. Most of the rituals have different operational and historical meanings. Historically, the rituals were used or viewed as an attempt to break the caste-based inequalities prevailed in the society of the time, and to strengthen and uplift the sociologically downtrodden and ill-treated. Examples of this include the charity on food as anadermam, physical as well as spiritual cleanliness through thuvial thavasu, eliminating untouchability through thought and imam, self-respect and courage through headgear, and unifying various castes through Mutharikanaru. But they too reveal, however, high philosophical ideas preached in a ritual language. The Mutharikanaru and Thirunamam are treated religiously as if the Putam and Namam of them have the power to heal all sorts of mental as well as physical illness. Thuvial Thavasu is suggested as a training to reach the ultimate aim of Dharmayukam. The use of the crown reveals that all are kings, visualizing an ideology similar to Advaita. Also, Ayavaji scriptures succeeded very much in helping to understand these philosophical ideas to the common mass which is very much unusual. The individual rituals, the ecstatic religiosity and the ritual healing, which are the features of Ayavaji worship, contributed to the formation of an idea of emancipation and a social discourse. Rituals attempt to uplift and treat the disenfranchised. Another important thing to be noted is the alternative phrases religiously used in Ayavaji universe different from Hinduism, to represent certain practices. The formula of inclusiveness and exclusivity, as applied in the religio-cultural universe of Ayavaji, is unique because both the theories are mixed up in Ayavaji scriptures. The inclusive theory accepts the views of different religions for a certain period of time, and from then onwards exclusively rejects all of them in its narrative. Ayavaji accepts different godheads of several religions like the concept of Allah and almost all the godheads of Hinduism. It also says that the one and the same God incarnates in different parts of the world at different time for rescuing the people from sufferings. But due to the advent of Kalyan and because of the cruel nature of his boons, for the first time, the supreme power Akim incarnates in the world as Vakandar and so all the lesser godheads and previous scriptures had lost their substances. So after the time of the Vakanda avatar, Vakandar was said to be the only worshipable god and hence, the theology of Ayavaji was channeled towards exclusivism.
The manner in which Akilam treats the scriptures of different religions is complicated. For instance, while there is no direct reference to the terms Christ or Bible anywhere in any of the Ayavaji texts, there is an indirect reference in Akilam 13 which is supposed to be an implication that Christ was an incarnation of Narayana, but it was widely thought that it did not recognize the Bible composition. It seems the view of Akilam on Bible is it was created with the intention of man and not that of God. In common, creation of religions and shaping individualities for them are heavily criticized. The concepts God and religion are kept poles apart in Akilam, and it seems to maintain an ideology something like accept God, reject religion. Ayavashi accepts various incarnations in Hinduism, but necessarily rejects the so-called Hindu scriptures. It initially accepts Vedas. Later since Kalyan had bought the Vedas as boon they too lost their substance by the advent of Kalyan, and so had gone invalid. It also says that he had performed several additions and had hidden some of their content. And hence God incarnated as Vakandar. So for the present age, Akilam is said to be the only book of perfection. By this Ayavaji rejects all other scriptures and follows only its own. Akilam highly condemns the creation of religions especially exclusivistic religious and theological ideas. It shows them as the foremost Kali Mayai. The scriptures teach sensibly and symbolically that God and his activities are beyond the reach of religions. It also preaches about universal oneness. The mythology of Ayavaji narrates that the essence of this vision is an account of a history a past, a present and a future meant by weaving together of empirical facts, historical events as well as mythical accounts. It moves around three axiomatic typologies, namely Santra, Kali Yukam, and Dharma Yukam, placing their base on the concepts and events of previous yugas that are associated also with Hindu mythology. The basic concepts give a symbolic vision which is at once religious and social. It is closely linked to that of Hinduism. Akilam talks about the previous yugas and the evolution of Krani through them. Events, mythical characters, and concepts are shared with Hinduism, though they may be engendered in different form. The number of yugas and avatars differs in Ayavaji from Hinduism. The personification of the entity of evil for the current yuga, Kalyan, is unique to Ayavaji. Akilam says that the true concepts were destroyed, so that all previous scriptures had lost their substances due to the advent of Kali. The book also speaks of God incarnating in the world in the Kali Yukam to destroy the evil spirit, the final and the most serious manifestation of Krani. God incarnates as Vakandar, and since Vakandar lived recently, he was well known in history. So in the second part of the mythology many mythical as well as historical facts were woven together. Most of the events such as Mutharikanaru, wearing of headgear during worship, Thuvial Thavasu all were noted in history. Though there are quotes in Aril Noal to accredit the ten avatars of Vishnu, it seems that they are not seen in equal status with these incarnations. It was considered secondary to the primary avatars, who are associated with the destructions of the fragments of Krani. This view is not inconsistent with Hinduism, as only Narasimha, Rama and Krishna are considered the primary avatars who are still worshipped. The other avatars are considered secondary avatars who are not worshipped. The Santra is the subject of the religious vision of Ayavaji. There is both a religious and a social category in its connotation. In the social sense, it is believed that the term Santra fits rightly to the early Chinars, who were called by the Arabs as Al-Hind, 
and known in biblical times as the people of five rivers, they are now scattered with more than 250 branches throughout the world. But in turn, in ideological sense and from the literary meaning of the term Santrer in Tamil, it represents one who is noble and lives with dignity and supreme knowledge, giving an inclusive character and universal reach. Historians account that in ancient Dravidian cultures, zealous devotees of God were called as Chinars. A quote from Achillam II reads, Chinars are those who have the ability to see the invisible constantly. The Santrar are given a historical background in Ayavaji mythology as seven boys who were made to be born in the mythical garden Ayadha Amirdhavanam by using the seven seeds from seven upper worlds, by Thirumal, to the seven virgins. Theologians interpret that these seven boys refer to the ancestors of the whole human race, and hence the term Santrar refers to the entire human race. Their lineage started at the end phase of Dvaparayukam and continued through the Kali Yukam into the Dharma Yukam. It is believed that Kali is being destroyed continuously by the activities of the Santrar in the path of Vaikandar, and so the Dharma Yukam unfolds eventually. In this sense they have a considerable role in the destruction of Kali, the foremost evil. The Ayavaji proposes an emancipatory utopia under the banner of Dharma Yukam. The basis of the belief is that Ayavakandar had come to establish and rule as the everlasting king over the Dharma Yukam in the place of Kali Yukam after sentencing Krani to hell by a final judgment from the lion throne of Dwarakapathi, the rising mythical landmass located southeast of present day Kanyakumari. The Dharma Yukam is narrated as beyond the limits of time and space. It is often related to moksha the personal liberation, and to the state of oneness too. The Hindu and Ayavaji ideologies are closely tied to each other. The place where Ayavaji and Hinduism depart from each other is at the advent of Kali Yuga. Akilam says that until the advent of Kali Yuga, the Vedas and all other Hindu scriptures remained with divinity. Each of the gods referred to in the scriptures also remained with all their powers. But from the beginning of Kali Yuga, they and all their virtues collapsed. Kalyan was a part of the mundane primordial manifestation who spread Maya or illusion upon the existing scriptures and Devas. In Kali Yuga, all true scriptures are bound to Maya and are unhelpful. The reason, as stated in Akilam for the disintegration of the entire system is that, towards the end of Dwapara Yuga, there in Mount Kailash, Siva believing the words of Devas, created Kalyan without discussing to Vishnu, who had the responsibility to destroy Kalyan as per previous deeds. So Vishnu refused to take birth in the world to destroy Kalyan. So Siva and Brahma surrendered all their powers to Vishnu. Until this event, Siva was the supreme power as per Akilam. It is notable that this is a theological idea something similar to Shaivism, where Siva is supreme to all. Then onwards, however, Vishnu is the supreme power. Here the ideology changes similar to that of Vishnavism. This supremacy of Vishnu remains like this from the beginning of Kali Yuga until the incarnation of Vaikandar, from where it changes further. During the incarnation, Vishnu himself cannot incarnate directly in the world to destroy Kalyan, since he had bought as boon the power of Devas, including Vishnus, and spread it all over the world as Maya. So God needs to be incarnated with a new set of rules and with unique importance. A total universal transformation of the power relation of Godheads, the rules of scriptures, the Dharma, etc., took place, and Vaikandar was given birth by taking in the power of Akam, by Lakshmi and Vishnu conjoining together inside the sea. 
and from now onwards all the powers were handled over from Vishnu to Vakandar inside the sea. Siva, Vishnu, and Brahma therefore form a part within Vakandar. This ideology about Trimurthi is similar to that of Smartism. Vishnu alone forms a double role, one, within Vakandar, and the other, as the father of him, remain inside the sea and regulating Vakandar through Vinchayas. After Vakandar was given birth to, by assuming the power of Akam, Vakandar was supreme to Vishnu and all other godheads, though Vishnu playing the role of father to Vakandar. However, Vakandar had to obey the order of Vishnu, since Vakandar was given birth to perform the duties of Vishnu, which he could not do. Vakandar is the manifestation of the Supreme Akim so, in Iyavaji spirituality, he is the only worshipable universal power. Regarding scriptures, the first part of Akilam is summed up events of the previous Yugas, which are present in Hindu scriptures. The second part says about the universal transformation and the uniqueness of Vakandar and his incarnational activities. So as a summary, till the beginning of Kali Yuga, what is Hinduism, that is Iyavaji. From then onwards for a series of reasons, Akilam says that Hindu scriptures and its ideology had lost its purity and was destroyed, and so the Dharma was reconfigured in the name of Akilam and Vakandar and the Hindu ideas were reformed. Akilam points out its basis as a regeneration of Dharma in the form of an entirely new ideology. But today, most of the followers of Iyavaji address Vakandar merely as the incarnation of Vishnu. Likewise, most of the Nizaldan gals were called Narayana Swami Pathi or Narayana Swami Temple, similar to Hindu Vaishnavism. Most of the followers also worship Hindu deities such as Kali, Hanuman, and other folk deities in spite of the anti-polytheistic ideas based on Iyavaji scripture. Some followers of Iyavaji include Vakandar as part of the ten avatars of Vishnu as Kaki, while some denominations strongly advocate Moksha, the personal liberation, though it is not stated directly in Akilam. Some even reject the Trinity conception in Iyavaji and believe Narayana to be the supreme universal power. The unique monotheistic belief which is the central theme of Akilam is completely unknown among most of the followers today. Deviating far away from the strict monotheistic teachings of Akilam, some then gals provides Panavitas for other lesser gods too. The spread of Iyavaji among the common people was mainly due to the practice of shamanism. Being similar to Hindus in almost all aspects Iyavaji followers are hard to be identified. The only sign to distinguish the practitioners of Iyavaji is the fact that they wore the Thirunamam. The Nizaldan gals are identified among the other temples by the fact that idols are replaced by mirrors in the Pali Yere. Only the recitations of a handful of scholars educated in the Iyavaji scriptures point out the real facts and concepts of Akilam and the philosophical and ideological deviation of Iyavaji from Hinduism. Not even the Payeans from the headquarters able to portray the Akilam-based ideology clearly. All these philosophical, ideological, and religious variations in the society of Iyavaji make them hard to be identified and differentiated as a separate belief and instead taken as a Hindu sect. There is a common belief that Iyavakandar is a prophet and he had made many prophecies during his earthly years. On the contrary, there are no implications in Akilam or other books of Arul know all that Vakandar himself foretold anything, except in Thiruvasagam 4, Akilam 12. The common misunderstanding is because, the Akilam and Arul know all includes hundreds of prophecies and the contents of both the books is being divinely revealed to the cedars by Vakandar and the cedars brought them to the written form. 
so, instead of the prophecies in both the books being considered that of cedars it is misunderstood that the prophecies is of Vacandar. Robert Caldwell, one among the very few historians of the contemporary period, too referred to the then belief that cedars profess to foretell events. Iavashi worship was marked by its simplicity. The absence of idol worship and priestly mediation, and inclusion of alternate type of centers of worship, the Pathis and Nizaldan Gals, were other characteristics of Iavashi worship. Rituals of Iavashi are a reform or revolutionary activity, focusing upon social equality, deviating from Hinduism. The rituals are also characterized and bound by religious beliefs that give them an alternative spiritual meaning. Its scriptures cover basic elements and ideas throughout Hinduism. They refer to Shastras, Agamas, Vedas, and Puranas. But address them all to be gone awry by the advent of Vaikandar, from where Iavashi scriptures forms negative ideas over all other traditions. Though Iavashi shares many godheads with Hinduism, it weaves unique ideology and power assumption for them. Iavashi can be portrayed as a Hindu renaissance. Iavashi is viewed as a reform movement too, as it brought many social changes there in the Tamil and Keralite society during the 19th century. The religious structure evolved in the path of Iavashi scriptures and, as a result, it transfigured itself as an alternative religio-cultural system in the social category. The Iavashis addressed their system as path of God with the phrase Iavashi. On one hand, they believe that their tradition had come to replace all old traditions, but on the other hand, they believe that Iavashi is the synopsis of the world's religious knowledge. On one hand, they believe that Vaikandar unified all deities within him, on the other, as all the previous had gone awry by the advent of Vaikandar. Apart from this, Iavashi has separate theology, mythology, holy places, worship centers, and ethics of its own. Though many new papers, academic researchers, and some of its followers consider it as a separate religion, many of the followers are even of the opinion that this is but a Hindu sect rather than an autonomous religion. They indulge in the mystic practices of possessions and divinations similar to the tribal religions of Tamil Nadu. Also, many of its core beliefs are similar to some Hindu sects such as Advaita and Smartism. Regarding demographics, Iavashi followers are highly concentrated in South India though found across India, comparatively in less numbers. In Kanyakumari and Tirunelveli districts of Tamil Nadu, it is very hard to find a village without a worship center of Iavashi. Apart from the listings from the religious headquarters there are no official figures for the number of followers of Iavashi because they are considered Hindus in the census.